In this video, I will show you guys how to install and configure EtherSX2 PS2 emulator on your Android devices. First, you will need to download EtherSX2 from Play Store. It is free and available on all 64-bit Android devices. You will need to download the BIOS files from link in description of this video, and also download an app called ZArchiver to extract the games and BIOS files. After you download BIOS from link in description and ZArchiver, you will need to open up ZArchiver, setting up the following permissions and create a new folder with name PS2 games or something like that. And you will put your BIOS files and your PS2 games you have downloaded here. I can't make any links directly to the games, just search for yourself on Google, but they will come on zip files or 7-zip files. Just extract them to the PS2 folder you have created before. The extension of the file is ISO. Any other different extension will not be read correctly. PS2 BIOS will be on .zip file. Just extract them in the PS2 folder with the games. Now, open up EtherSX2 and give the permissions to access all files and media and other permissions. Now, on the configuration menu, we have two different configurations to do. If you have a good and powerful Snapdragon device, like 870, 865, 860, you can choose the optimal default settings, display a SPAC ratio 16 to 9, Vulkan for graphics and 2x resolution. But if you have a lower or mid-range smartphone, use fast default settings, display aspect ration 16 to 9, OpenGL or Vulkan for graphics and 0, 75x OU 0, 50x for resolution. Click in next and on the BIOS settings, Click on the plus button on the screen, navigate to the folder PS2 you have created and select a BIOS file. Any of them will open games, so choose what do you prefer. Do the same thing on games directory settings. Choose the PS2 folder and you're good to go. Just click on finalize and there you go, EtherSX2 is completely configured on your smartphone. If you need to make other configurations, just click on the three bars on the left side. Go to configurations and search for the settings you need to do. To game on a controller on Ether SX2, you will need to first connect your controller on your device via Bluetooth or cables. Click on the three bars again. Go to controller settings. Navigate to port 1 and click on automatic mapping. And that's it congratulations, you've done it. You're now playing all your beloved PS2 games on your hand. Click the subscribe button to receive more videos like this and click on the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.